I'm up at the crown of this avalanche that broke up here near Devil's Castle at the head of Little Cottonwood Canyon. And this right here from here up is the snow, about a foot of snow that fell yesterday. With that intense loading that put enough weight on this old snow surface that this avalanche broke right at the interface of this. Uh, the storm started off with some grapple, which is like little pellets of hail, uh, where that landed on top of snow that fell the first weekend in November. That snow became really faceted and that weak layer plus this fairly dense new snow allowed this avalanche to break naturally at least pushing 2,000 feet across. So just the other day, we barely had any snow in the mountains of Northern Utah. Just yesterday, we got pasted with almost two feet of dense, heavy snow that fell along the upper elevations. However, as a result, we're seeing dangerous avalanche conditions across Northern Utah. And the bullseye information is right behind my shoulder. There's an avalanche that's nearly 2,000 feet wide that broke a couple feet deep. This thing would be a season ender. So if we're gonna head out into the mountains, make sure we're prepared, beacon shovel probes, and always get the forecast before heading out. Visit utahavalanchecenter.org.